California isn't the only state that held primaries on Tuesday. In Iowa, Democratic businessman Fred Hubble won his primary. He will face Republican Governor Kim Reynolds in November. He has never been elected to public office before. Joining me now on the phone is Kathy Obradovich. Uh, actually, she's joining us via Skype. She's a political columnist for the Des Moines Register. All right, so Kathy, how is Fred Hubble going to position himself to try to defeat Governor Kim Reynolds? Fred Hubble is talking about uh, the budget. He's talking about taxes. He's talking about health care. He's arguing that Kim Reynolds has the wrong priorities for the state. Uh, right now, uh, Iowa is seeing stagnating revenues. Uh, we've had a lot of problems with privatized Medicaid. And so uh, it's going to be a very issue focused campaign on his side. Uh, what we're hearing, though, from Republicans, uh, Governor Kim Reynolds and Republicans, is that they're going to attack uh, Fred Hubble based on his personal wealth. Um, she said during her campaign speech tonight that he was, uh, you know, it's not the, not a problem that he's wealthy. That you know, we don't we don't attack people because they're wealthy. The problem is that he uh, he's never known what it's like not to be wealthy, or he's never known what it's like, you know, to have to struggle paycheck to paycheck. It's it's a really interesting tack to take, uh, considering that Donald Trump. Uh, won Iowa decisively hmm. in 2016. That is interesting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, so Governor uh, Kim Reynolds is seeking her first full term. How do Iowa voters view her? Do they have a fully formed view of her yet? Well, you know, I think that they, she's been governor for a year, um, and so I, they have had an opportunity, I think, to get to know her. She uh, comes from humble beginnings. She likes to talk about how she was a grocery bagger and, uh, you know, worked at an ice cream shop and uh, really plays up the populist background. Uh, she's very likable, you know, she's, she, and so she has that going for her. She has a, a very likable personality, and, and and so I think that she's going to do make the most of that on the campaign trail and try to talk more about backgrounds than issues, which have been kind of a struggle in the first year. Well, what are the most important issues in the gubernatorial race? I think one of the big ones that Democrats are going to talk most about is health care. Um, Iowa privatized Medicaid uh, and has struggled with that. Um, the uh, uh, the providers uh, have not paid their or the the, the MCOs, the uh, the managed care organizations that are, are for profit organizations, have not paid providers on time. Um, there have been a lot of problems with patients uh, not getting uh, getting approval for health care. Uh, we had uh, we. We had these uh, managed care organizations drop out of the market. Uh, so uh, it's been an ongoing saga. In fact, uh, you know, one of our Des Moines Register, Pul uh, one Register editorial writers won a Pulitzer Prize covering this saga. So, mm. uh, you know, it's been uh, it's been really uh, up front in the news and uh, it's, do you know, the uh, I think it's been dogging the uh, the administration. And then the other thing is, while revenues are stagnant, Republicans came in and passed over a two billion Billion dollar uh, income tax cut. So, uh, you know, the question of is Iowa going to be able to balance this budget in the face of really leveling off farm revenues, uh, concerns about tariffs, uh, the Trump tariffs hitting farmers, uh, there's a lot of uncertainty going into next year. Yeah, I was going to ask about that issue of tariffs. How worried are some Iowans about that particular issue? And if you're Fred Hubble, for instance, um, looking at the way things are unfolding, um, what is the the way in which you try to strategize and navigate around that issue. Farmers are really, really worried at this this point. Uh, you know, this uh, it's not the tariffs so much as the retaliation, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, we've got big markets in China and in uh, in Canada and uh, Mexico for Iowa beef, pork, uh, and especially soybeans going to China. Um, so those ag exports are really threatened by this. And uh, when ag exports are threatened, uh, Iowa income is threatened. I think the way Fred. Hubble goes after this is to talk about how basically budget mismanagement is is the phrase he's been using against uh, Kim Reynolds that uh, you know they came in with this huge tax cut at a time when revenues were uncertain and and the economy is uncertain and he's going to argue that that was rash and reckless. Well, Republicans who currently hold seats in the state's first and third congressional districts are said to be vulnerable. What are the issues Democrats will challenge them on? 
Yeah, so I think that, uh, again, health care, uh, the Republicans' repeated votes to try to repeal the Affordable Care Act, failure to enact uh, any replacement for the Affordable Care Affordable Care Act will be a big part of it. The Republican tax cuts, again, uh, at a time when uh, we've got debt debts and deficits. Uh, you know, the federal government, uh, you know, is uh, Congress in, in general is like in Iowa, like everywhere else, people have a very low opinion of what's going on in Congress right now. So I, I think that they, uh, the themes that you will hear for, uh, in Iowa are going to be similar. Um, the, that you'll hear in the rest of the country. Um, they're not going to hit Donald Trump as hard, perhaps, uh, in Iowa, because Iowa voted heavily for Trump. Uh, but they are going to hit his policies, and especially those tariffs that hit farmers. All right, Kathy Obradovich, always wonderful to have your insight. Thank you so much. Thanks, Elaine.